He hails from Naka, Sweden, and has made a stunning debut for the running Utes. Coming in as a freshman, he has already broken into the starting lineup as a guard. New to the U is Pelle Larson. Larson grew up with a basketball family. His dad, Christian, played professional Swedish basketball. His brother, Vilgot, is in his senior year of Maine's basketball team. Larson explains why he stuck with the sport. I mean, I grew up playing a lot of sports. You know, ultimately, it was just where I had the most fun and where I felt the most comfortable. That's what you got to do. You got to do what, what uh, gives you the most uh, joy. You know, so many ways to, like, play it and so many ways to get better and uh, so many aspects. To, you know, just play the game and it makes it more fun. Before becoming a U, Larson played professionally in Sweden's top division and averaged 7.6 points across 26 games. He also played for Sweden in the U18 European Championships where he racked up 15.8 points, 7.1 rebounds, and 5.5 assists. He was a four-star recruit before coming to Utah and was voted the Swedish Basketball League's Star of the Year. This season, he's been making his mark. Playing both ends of the floor, he has earned 167 points in 21 games played. Larson has proven to be a reliable playmaker on the offensive end, as well as a powerful defender. Against Oregon, Larson had one of his best games as a U, putting up 15 points, five rebounds, and five assists in 32 minutes. Gianna Cephalou talked with him this past week. I kind of sat down with my parents, and we went through schools. And we looked for three things, and it was the level of basketball, the academics, and how I would fit in in that team. After going through all the schools we just uh, and going to visits, uh, we just thought that Utah was the best fit. The Swedish native had to reshape his style of basketball when he came to the University of Utah. Definitely a difference. I think just the style of play and uh, the pace and... You know, the difference in spacing and when you can attack and when you should just move the ball and stuff like that. Uh, so there's been a lot of adjusting and as well adjusting to a, a new group of guys and a new team. Larson's new teammates and coaches taught him how to be successful at the Division One level. Just like different ways to look look at the game and how to play it. Some of the guys on the team are more experienced with the, the college level and to how to look at every game and try to bring it every game. You don't get any like days off, really. You just got to stay hungry and focused all the time. The running Utes have stayed hungry this season. Utah lost to USC earlier in the year, but they seeked redemption. They beat 19th ranked USC 71 to 61 in the Huntsman Center. I think the first game we played them uh, over at their place, we felt pretty good too. We just didn't make shots and at the end it kind of got away. Uh, but this game was great, you know, great execution and everyone made plays, so that was definitely one of our highlights. Besides beating the Trojans, Larson looks at other high points of the season. Uh, you know, first game playing was also really fun, you know, just to get out there and get the feel of it. And, uh, you know, it's a lot more f like fun to play when we got some crowd back. It's not a lot, but, you know, some family and cheering in the stands and stuff like that, that's also a highlight. There have been positives throughout the season, but the team has gone through their own adversity. Starting point guard Rylan Jones suffered a shoulder injury. Larson had to step up and play more minutes and is now a part of the starting five. You got to adjust to that too. And we, I mean, we work on everything in practice. So I'm, I feel like I'm ready to start every game. And, you know, coach is showing the confidence in me that I can. So just go on and do it. Larson explains why the next man up mentality is essential to every game, especially given the unique season. You got to stay ready because maybe you're one guy away, like one guy getting injured or getting COVID away from starting or getting huge minutes. So, you know, it's the same. Stay hungry and stay ready and start some practice. So, yeah. Larson has made an immediate impact on the men's basketball program. On behalf of the U and Short Sports, we're excited to see what he accomplishes in the next three years.